Hi, this is Dr. Bharadwaj. I am CEO and Chief Doctor at Vedikas Somyapati. Today we will discuss on the important disease that is Bartholinitis or Bartholin cyst or Bartholin's abscess. These diseases are almost close to each other. These are the diseases that are related to Bartholin's gland, which is an important gland in the reproductive system of a woman. The main problem with this disease is it is a recurring disease. So once you get treated or it is a high chance that it will come again and again. So we will check how to handle this, how to uh, stop the recurrence of the disease and we will check how homeopathy can help you in treating the disease, preventing the disease coming again and again. Basically, this is the disease of the Bartholin gland. Uh, Bartholin gland is one of the important reproductive glands. There are three types of issues with this. One is it can get directly get inflamed and we call it as Bartholinitis when there is obstruction to the flow and endurated cyst is formed. And the third one is it get infected and it get inflamed. So that is Bartholin's abscess when the pus is collected. What are the signs and symptoms of the disease? First one is there is no pain or anything in initial stages you, you cannot find this disease and coming to the next one what happens is there will be a small induration on the labia majora gradually this will increase in size normally this induration or this cyst is unilateral it can be present on the right side of the vagina or left side of the vagina but rarely it occurs on both the sides of the vagina both the gland infecting at a time is very rare phenomenon when it becomes abscess it becomes painful it becomes tender when you touch it a severe pain you cannot walk you cannot sit and you cannot do anything especially the intercourse become painful and also one more symptom women describe it as there will be heaviness in their vaginal area that is also one of the important symptoms when it gets ruptured they can be bled and they can be pus in the vaginal region so these are all the common symptoms coming to the investigation there are no much investigations only investigations you need to do is when the cyst is recurring you have to do the biopsy and check whether it is any cancerous growth or not other than that there is no other investigation is needed the diagnosis is straightforward to understand this disease more there is some important anatomical structures you have to understand before we move further into the disease in the perineal area of women or reproductive area of women there will be two major structures we call it as labia majora which is outer one and labia minora which is inner one so in between labia majora and labia minora there will be a flat structure that structure we call it as vestibule in vestibule in anterior part of the vestibule there will be urethral opening in the posterior part of that vestibule and the back part of that vestibule there is a vaginal opening on either side of the vaginal opening there will be small holes or small ducts these duct leads into a gland that is bartholin's gland and the ducts are called bartholin ducts they open on the either side of the vagina so this is the important structure there these glands are resin glands resimus gland means it looks like a sac these are whitish and yellow in color coming to the physiology of gland what is the function of this gland normally this gland secretes mucus mucus or mucus like substance it secretes about 6 milligrams of mucus every day and keeps the vagina moist always and also during the sexual excitation this releases mucus and this helps in lubricating the vagina while intercourse so that there will not be any pain during intercourse and also one more function of this gland is it keeps the vagina clean and it keeps the vagina away from the infections within the reproductive system of a woman these are the very important glands this play major role in the reproductive health and coming to the etiology or reason for this disease first one is bacterial infections this gland may get affected due to bacteria or this may be due to sexually transmitted diseases and the bacteria and virus related to sexually transmitted diseases. Gonorrhea is one of the common diseases. So they can be injury while cycling or when you have a hot core sex, they can be injury to this gland as well or the ducts of this gland. There can be dust accumulation in the ducts of this gland and also the secretions of this gland sometimes become dry and they become the duct may get closed. The major risk factor for this disease is wearing the tight panties or wearing the tight cloths and also sexually promiscuous women are more prone to have this disease is compared to normal women coming to the pathology what are the changes that occur in these glands or near the vagina of the women when they encounter this disease is first one is they can be direct bacteria this bacteria will be directly entered into Bartholin glands and infect them especially in sexually transmitted diseases and also the important one is gonorrhea this is the first one and the next one is they can be obstruction to the opening of the gland or a duct of the gland. The mucus can get dried and also they can be collection of dust. What happens here is opening of the gland gets blocked and mucus starts accumulating within the gland and there will be swelling of the gland. The gland increases in the size and then it becomes hard and it becomes cyst. Once there is mucus within the gland, this get infected and there can be pus formation. Then it becomes reddish, then it becomes hot, then it becomes tender, it becomes painful once the gland ruptures they can be blood coming out of the gland or they can be 
first coming out of the gland what is the conventional treatment for this disease conventional treatment means the treatment which you took when you find that you have some problem with with your vaginal area you go to a corporate hospital or you go to a gynecologist or you go to a doctor who is nearby your home this is also called english form of medicine or western form of medicine or allopathic way of medicine so what is the treatment there what are the disadvantages it has so there is no treatment in the later stages they will mostly go for the surgery the first surgical procedure they follow is uh, incision and drainage when there is uh, when the gland is indurated or they will just give a small incision and open the gland and they will drain out the pus and give you the antibiotics and painkillers so you know there are a lot of side effects with antibiotics and painkillers this is in the initial stages when there is cyst and in the next stage they can do one more surgery that is called as marsupialization what they will do is in this they will open the gland when it is infected and they will put the stitches around the opening and this they make this opening permanent so that there will not be accumulation of pus in it again and again so this is the second one and third one coming to the severe cases they will completely remove the gland the function of the gland is lost so this is the third technique they use so whatever technique they use they will use painkillers and also they will use antibiotics antibiotics and painkillers or full of side effects after doing all these procedures it is high chance that it, this disease will reoccur again and again so there is no permanent cure for this disease in allopathic way of treatment so how homeopathy can help you in this regard why homeopathy is the better treatment in this regard is you can handle this disease without any surgery so if it is in initial stage if it is just bartholinitis and there is only infection of the gland homeopathy can handle it very well when it is cyst without side effects when it is abscess it is painful it is indurated it is discharging pus even that stage homeopathy can help you in this regard so homeopathy can treat this disease without any side effects so you can have zero side effects and also not only curing the existing disease it can prevent the disease coming again and again some women there will be a tendency that it comes at and again and again With the help of homeopathic treatment we can ensure that this disease is not repeated again and again and also where you have the disease and you got operated from somewhere and you are afraid that this disease may come again you can reach out to us so that we will treat it from the root cause and you will not have the recurrence of the disease and it can treat this disease effectively compared to any other form of treatment and also the cost for treating this disease is very much less compared to when you go for surgery and also the discomfort is very less in homeopathic treatment there is no need for surgery and no need to take rest that's the major advantage you have with homeopathy so what are all the precautions you have to take to prevent this disease coming again and again or if you don't have this disease how to you prevent the disease you can see that this disease doesn't occur to you and what should you be doing when you have this disease first one is sitch bath you can take a tub put hot water into it or warm water into it you can sit in the tub for 15 minutes to 20 minutes three to four times a day this ensures that the abscess is open the abscess matures and the contents of the abscess comes out and you will feel less pain next one is you have to maintain hygiene of the private parts you have to keep the private parts always clean you have to have good sexual practices so do not try abnormal sexual positions or uh, try to have a uh, good etiquette around your uh, sexual uh, activity one more thing you have to remember is before having the sex and after having the sex so you have to urinate so urinating before and after the sex ensures that your vaginal area is clean and you will not land into this type of issue and also one more thing you have to do is clean your vagina before you go with the intercourse or after the intercourse is done you have to ensure and clean your vagina and keep it dry and clean if you suspect your partner is is not healthy or uh, he is sexually active with uh, other women you have to ensure that you, you should be using the condom so that you will not be landing into sexually transmitting diseases which leads to bartholinitis or cyst or abscess so these are all the important precautions you have to take apart from this you have to take good diet healthy diet sleep well especially you have to sleep for seven to nine hours exercise regularly and lead a stress-free life so that your immunity will be optimized you will have good immunity and the chances this type of diseases is less and the chances of curing this disease becomes high and coming to the prognosis what happens if you don't care about this disease or if you don't take homeopathic treatment initially there will be cyst formation it is not taken care so it will land into abscess abscess will be more painful more difficult to treat and also you will have painful intercourse and the main problem with this is if you don't treat or if you don't complete the treatment this problem may, may come again and again so recurring of this disease you have to stop with the help of homeopathic treatment we are critical homeopathy we are located in manikonda hyderabad you can directly come and see us personally or else you can take the homeopathic treatment online so online treatment is available throughout the world 
especially when you are in india or when you are in uh, andhra pradesh and telangana so we can directly ship the medication to your doorstep you can use it and get rid of your disease thank you